Hey kids, I hope you are having a great week this week. I'm so excited about the story from the Bible and the activity for this week. And so our story from the Bible is Exodus chapter 14. And God's people, who are called the Israelites, have been rescued from slavery in Egypt. And there are hundreds of thousands of them, over a million of them. And they come to the Red Sea. They're near the beach, and there's this huge sea in front of them. And behind them, the Egyptian army is coming to capture them. And so they're stuck between the Red Sea and the army that's going to attack them. And they don't know what to do. And so what God says to Moses is to tell them to move on, to go ahead and keep going forward toward the promised land and through the sea. And what God does is he parts the sea with a strong wind. Um, he makes the sea into dry land and there's a wall of water on either side of them and they walk across the water on dry land. It's one of the most famous miracles in the whole Bible. And so our memory verse from this story is chapter 14 in Exodus, verse 29. The Israelites went through the sea on dry ground. The Israelites went through the sea on dry ground. And what I want to talk to you about is that sometimes in our lives, we feel stuck. We feel caught between things and we don't know what to do. We don't know how to move forward. Like the Israelites, we might feel or other people might feel like, I can't go into the water. I can't go back to where that army is. We feel stuck. It can feel scary. It can feel stressful. Um, it can feel very worrisome and anxious. And I want you to know that even in those times, God is with us and God can give us a direction forward. God can make miracles happen when we didn't think they were possible, like parting the Red Sea. So the activity I want you to do is super fun. I've never done this before. I found it online and I want you to try it. And here's what you need for this activity. For this activity, you are going to need a bowl, like this kitchen bowl I have. You're gonna to need to fill that bowl with water. And then you're gonna need a leaf, and you either need a needle or I used a small nail. So I have this small nail right here for hanging pictures, a leaf, and then a bowl of water. And what you do is you place the leaf in the water and you make sure your water is completely still, that there isn't any breeze blowing on it. And then you put the nail on the leaf or the needle that you have on the leaf and what happens is amazing because on our planet, there is a magnetic north um, that runs compasses. If you know what a compass is, it tells you which direction to go. And what will happen is the real magnetic north will draw that small little needle or your um, little nail very slowly, very gently over to point to the north. And so the big part of my nail ends up slowly moving to point the north and the sharp point points to the south. And your parents probably have on their phone a compass that you can compare to it and see that slowly you gotta be patient. It will show you true north and true south. And so what that shows us is that God can give us direction even when we don't know which way to go. It's a really cool activity. And then the... Um, uh, the challenge that I want you to do is I want you to think about is there anybody you can think of that like the Israelites is stuck maybe they're in trouble maybe they are in danger maybe they need help and I want to encourage you to just do one tiny thing to help you can say a prayer and that's wonderful but maybe you could give a small donation to help the people that were flooded in Libya, they're having a lot of struggles, or the earthquake in Morocco, or people who are hungry in your community, um, or somebody who's lonely. Just do a tiny little bitty thing. That's what the Israelites had to do. They had to take one little step at a time to walk through the Red Sea and to be rescued and to make their way to the Promised Land. Remember, our key verse, our memory verse, is chapter 14 in Exodus, verse 29. 
the Israelites went through the sea on dry ground. And I really want you to try this cool activity and experiment. You can't see it really, but it worked again. And I think it's so cool. And then do one tiny thing to help somebody else who might be stuck between a rock and a hard place, who might be stressed and need just a little way that you can make a difference. I hope you all have a wonderful week. God loves you. And I look forward to